Hey guys, it's a miracle and we're back with another video. I feel like not many people pay attention to the quality of their mic these days on how it sounds originally and how much better it would sound if they tried a couple of different options. They don't see how they can make it sound way better than it's supposed to sound. If you're like this, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your blue snowball go from sounding like this to sounding like this. Before we start this video guys, can we hit 5 likes on this video? I know it's a lot to ask for, but I like posting quality content videos and this will tell me that you like them. Anyways, let's get back to the video guys. Enjoy. First thing you guys want to do is open up the two links in the description. After that, you want to download both of the files. Be sure to download the .zip files only, as the other ones won't work. Be sure to have WinRAR, or else you won't be able to do the following steps in order to get this working. If you don't have WinRAR, I will link it in the description below. Download the .zip files and bring them to your desktop. After that, you want to right click both of them and click Extract To. Once that's done, you can delete both of the zip files as we won't be needing them anymore and we only need the folders. First, you want to open up the VB Cable folder. After that, you want to scroll down until you find VB Cable Setup and VB Cable Setup X64. If you have a 64-bit computer, obviously run the 64 version, but if you have a 32-bit computer, run the original setup. Remember to always run it as administrator. Once opened up, it will be greeted by a tab that says Install Driver. Click Install and let the installation run. When it's done, a message should pop up saying restart your computer or something like that. But just click OK and X out of the tab. After that, you want to go to the second folder, which is the voice meter folder. Open it up and there will be one single file. Run it as administrator and do the same thing as last time. Once you install the driver, restart your computer and come back to this tutorial. Once you've restarted your computer, open up voice meter. You can either find it by scrolling through your files once you click the windows icon, or searching it up. Once it's open, it'll look completely different from mine because we haven't fixed a few settings yet. The first thing you want to do is click on hardware input and choose your mic which is the blue snowball. Next thing you want to do is click A1 and pick cable input VB audio virtual cable. Then you're basically done. You can mess around with the settings to your personal preference, but obviously, if you want your mic to sound like mine, go into the description and download my file. Once you've downloaded it, click menu and load settings. Then obviously locate the file that you downloaded and open it. Then you'll see what I see and your voice will sound like this. There's one catch though. You have to have this open whenever you want your voice to sound like this, but to set it as your main mic, you must go to your taskbar Right click your sound volume and go to recording devices. Scroll down till you find voice meter and click set as default. Apply and OK. Now people won't be able to hear you at all if you don't have your voice meter open. So always have voice meter open when you're going to chat to someone. Obviously, if you don't like this program, you can always go back to what I just said to do and click that snowball as default microphone again. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out and made your blue snowball mic sound amazing. If it did, be sure to leave a like as I want to get 5 likes on this video and if you really want to, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload quality content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.